Space Marine 2's newest patch did a round of buffs for all of the bolters. And in this video today, I want to go through some of my early testing, talking about the bolt rifle, the heavy bolt rifle, the instigator bolt carbine, and the stalker bolt rifle to give you a sense of how this buff has really applied to them. Um, what we'll be taking, taking a look at uh, for the first two on this list, at least the bolt rifle and the heavy bolt rifle is the juxtaposition between patch 4.0 and 4.1 after the buff. Um, but in my typical fashion of upfronting the knowledge in my uh, videos, let me just tell you outright, basically prior to 4.1, a bolt rifle would take about a full magazine, which is 25 shots for the way I've got it configured, plus about five or so more shots. So let's just say around about 30 shots to kill a Majoris. Now with 4.1, it takes somewhere around 20 shots. So you'll be able to kill a Majoris without going through an entire magazine. Now this is of course done in a practical environment. So what I'm saying is I'm not just sitting there and shooting in the head all, only on the in the head. I'm dodging around, I'm shooting when I can, and body shots, headshots, the things that you're probably going to do in the game. So that is your bolt rifle. The heavy bolt rifle went from taking 52 rounds in the magazine all the way down to 32, 37 to kill a Majoris. Now it only takes 18 bullets, give or take, to kill a Majoris with your heavy bolt rifle. So you get a lot of Majoris killing power with the heavy bolt rifle in um, 4.1. This was done all on Ruthless. It's worth noting with my heavy bolt rifle testing, I only have Artificer. So even on Relic, that's going to be even more powerful. So that's the down and dirty of what this video comprises and what we're going to go through. Uh, another big thing too is with the Stalker Bolt Rifle, you can kill a uh, Ruthless or Lethal Majoris in four headshots, five headshots, especially if you have got Auspex Scan. So it's a huge improvement across all the Bolt Rifle, Bolt Weapons, uh, whatever it is. But if that's all you want to know, please feel free to shut the video down and get back to enjoying your day. I just wanted to give you that down and dirty for uh, what the bolt weapons have uh, been buffed or how they've been buffed. Uh, before you head out, though, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if this video ends up helping you as that helps me out in a huge way. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch where I do stream this game and plenty of others every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find a link in the description as well as the pinned comment. But let's get started here on how have the bolt rifles been buffed in Space Marine 2. So starting off with our bolt rifle just standard edition bolt rifle. Um, in my previous testing, I used the highest power bolt rifle. In this testing, we are using the bolt rifle with the grenade launcher attachment, because realistically, that's probably the bolt rifle you're going to use if you're trying to do any kind of serious bolt rifle play. And in this video right here, you can see this is 4.0, and you am jumping around. This is really, really rough and tumble. This was hard to actually get off sufficiently, but there's no difference in the Majoris between Ruthless and Lethal. The difference is, of course, if they enrage. So um, I pushed this test into Ruthless to make sure that we could reliably kill things without them enraging midway through the test and screwing things up. Also, too, to note for all of the testing in this video, None of it's done in a controlled environment. I'm not shooting a dummy. I'm trying to make things look as practical as possible. Headshots, body shots, rolling around, not unending uh, um, shots into targets. But at the same time, I'm also trying to do as much mag dump as possible because I'm also trying to simulate the fact that not every single player is going to have a high percentage to hit targets. So... What is the common denominator with a mag dump, which is not really the most effective way to use any um, full auto weapon, right? Into an object to get us an, a sense for how fast it's going to kill. So with the 4.0 bolt rifle, like I said in the intro, we're looking at a full magazine plus five or so shots to kill the target or at least put them into execute. That's what I'm denoting as kill in this example, in this, in this video here. And... For this example too, I have 25 bullets for my, um, uh, what the hell is this thing called, for this bolt rifle. So let's just say 30 to 35, give or take, to kill or at least put Imadroris into execute. So now we take a look at 4.0, let's look at 4.1 for the bolt rifle. And at 4.1, it's a market increase, right? We're already going to get that. It's not a huge percentage 
jump. We're not going through the roof here. We're not, uh, not it's not getting the 20% of an auto bolt rifle. We're only getting a 10% buff to solely the bolt rifle portion, not to the grenade launcher for the uh, bolt rifle. And we go from having to need to reload our magazine to not having to reload our magazine getting anywhere in that 18 to 20 um, some odd range of bullets to kill, which which feels really nice. Um, we don't have to completely dump the whole entire mag uh, and then re reload and try and hit again. I like this a lot for the bolt rifle, especially since I've got a grenade launcher attached to the bottom of it. I think when I take a look at that compared to uh, the heavy bolt going to a bolt rifle, which we'll see in a little bit, it is a little weird because we're, we're not talking about that much of a difference in the amount of shots to kill, the time to kill. And ultimately, you can uh, there's, there's a lot of arguments that can be made for this test. One big thing, though, is that something to keep in mind with a lot of this, bots get a 30% increase to their damage. So they might have snuck some shots in here and there that I did not see. If they're using another bolt weapon, it's going to be a hit scan unless it's a last fusil or if it's a um, uh, plasma weapon. So... Those are the only two times I'm not I'm going to be able to actually see if they're shooting something. So unfortunately, I can't tell if bots were able to get any kind of serious shots on these targets. But either way, we can see a marked increase in our bolt rifle alone, which is a good step forward. Now for the heavy bolt gun, I'm really excited for this one because it got a real good jump up in its damage, at least how it feels. Um, in this initial foray here, you can see it's just going to be sloppy. It's destructive. I'm all over the place. Uh, we get killed. We get we get overwhelmed. But with the one clean kill here, we go from our max ammo of 52 dropping down to 15. That is 37 shots to put something from full health, or at least assumed to be full health, down to execute with the heavy bolt rifle in a 4.0 patch world. Heavy bolt rifle is is, in my opinion... It's the second best bolt rifle, especially when we're talking about the um, uh, tactical. That has now changed when I talk about the um, stalker bolt rifle in just a little bit. But what I like about the heavy bolt rifle is it offers a really good amount of damage into my Norris. It can really burst down Majoris in a pretty decent enough fashion prior to 4.1. And the most important thing to keep in mind, too, with this test, with only this weapon, it's the only one that is not... A, well, I'm sorry, Stalker Bolt Rifle is also not a relic. Um, this is a Artificer version of the uh, Heavy Bolt Rifle. I lied. The Stalker Bolt Rifle, I got to relic in the middle of the stream. But either way, what I'm saying here is, with the Heavy Bolt Rifle on Artificer, 37 shots to kill something in 4.0. Let's take a look at 4.1. So another hectic situation here. We're doing some testing. We're on 4.1. We're shooting into these uh, Tyranid Warriors. Now, I know that there's different damage res resistance with the range versus, versus the other one or different health values or whatever it is, but we're just talking about general feel of the weapon here. Um, this These values are going to obviously be in flux according to whatever we're shooting. I mean, I'd even take a look at Chaos Space Marines, which are, of course, going to be different here too. So we went from, in this example here, we have one really good clean kill. 52 shots down to 23. Let's say 23, 24. I don't really know when, when we really hit the execute. Um, so let's just round it up to an even 20 shots to cause that execute, which is a 17 shot difference between 4.0 and 4.1. This puts us about in line with the bolt rifle as far as that uh, per shot damage to knock things into um, those into that execute, which is is really, really nice. I like this a lot for the heavy bolt rifle. It means that the heavy bolt rifle, in my opinion, is a true contender for the bolt rifle because now I can trade off. Do I want to have the grenade launcher? Hint, yes, you do. The grenade launcher is just so goddamn good. Or do I want to have the real strong wave clear capability of the heavy bolt rifle? And I get what you're saying. Yes, the grenade launcher is way better at clearing waves, but it's nice to be able to chunk apart things uh, my Norris's headshots with the heavy bolt rifle and get a lot of really fun gameplay out of it, especially if you've just been playing the bolt rifle exclusively. It's like mix things up. This is a fun thing to mix things up into where a weapon that you still feel very strong and you're just kind of playing in this really cool kind of fun run and gun commando style that I personally, I love playing the heavy bolt rifle with the tactical. I think for me, it fits how I want to play a tactical. So I really enjoy it, especially right now after this 4.1 buff. Now, another weapon we tested is the heavy bolter on the heavy, and this only got a 5% increase in its damage from the 4.1 patch notes, and 
honestly, if I'm taking a look at it's going to really change once I get to the Stalker bolt rifle. Everything that was good as a bolt rifle, bolt weapon, a bolt family, now performs just a little bit better. The bolt rifle was amazing, right? Probably probably the best single weapon in the game as far as its threat range, right? It can do everything. And the heavy bolt rifle also felt very good. The heavy bolter also fe felt really good. All three of which needed to be leveled up, like especially the heavy bolter. The heavy bolter needed to be needed to be reliced in order to feel good. But now it just feels a little more solid. It feels a little more reliable. Its damage feels a little bit stronger. It feels like when I'm shooting a uh, Chaos Space Marine, I'm actually chunking them apart just a little bit quicker. Um, I don't have any statistics pre and post patch to really give you here, but it's basically off of the feel of using the Heavy Bolter prior to the patch. And now the Heavy Bolter just feels a little bit more succinct, a little bit more on point. Nothing drastic, though. What I was doing during the stream, I was asking everyone, how would you, assuming the weapon was a 5 out of 10, and of course, we, we've already talked about the bolt rifle being an amazing weapon, it's a 10 out of 10, but assuming everything's a 5 out of 10, let's mark the improvement or the degradation of these weapons. For the heavy bolt rifle, the bolt rifle, and the heavy bolter, everyone for the most part pretty much agreed that things went from a 5 to a 5.5 or a 6 in the case of the heavy bolt rifle. Nothing really made a huge marked improvement across these three weapons. They've all felt strong to begin with, and they feel stronger, better, a little bit more on point than they were before, but nothing huge. Let's jump into two other weapons, though, that do have a little bit of a different feel. Now, the instigator bolt carbine... Um, was always my favorite Vanguard weapon. I know that the Melted is a better weapon, blah, 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 blah. But I, but I enjoy the running gun and feel of the Instigator Bolt Carbine. Its buff to damage, again, was not substantial. I believe it was about 10%. And it also doesn't feel catastrophically better and amazing and, and, and huge. It feels a little bit more reliable. What I do like about the Instigator Bolt Carbine now is that shots on body for Minoris kill them a little bit more reliably with a burst weapon. It's a little trickier, right? When you're dealing with a bolt, bolt, uh, burst weapon and you shoot into body shots on Majoris or Minoris, it's frustrating, especially Minoris because a headshot kills them guaranteed. They take like a million body shots, it feels like. Um, but not to be confused with back shots, which is a whole sexual thing. But what you really want to know with the Instigator is that it feels stronger and faster to put down hard targets quicker. Minoris pop much easier. Majoris pop, of course, much faster. But the actual amount of shots on target, I think it went from something like five to six pulls of the trigger to now three to four, depending on how often or how much those targets, uh, those, those hits actually hit headshot versus body shot, which is a real nice jump in the performance of the weapon. Now, I don't have the actual numbers this is that is anecdotal experience from someone uh, relaying it to me in stream. I don't I don't I didn't test it prior to five four point to give you true honest numbers, but the again this just feels like a tighter weapon across the board. Big fan of the instigator to begin with. It is now better. I don't know how the Oculus performs unfortunately because I just it has a problem with its perks. So even though it got a buff to its damage, I just don't like its perk situation because the perks really hinder the weapon in my opinion. Yeah, you can go all the way up the the uh, the the progression of the of the weapon through its levels, but the perks are really what give you a huge spike in damage. And unfortunately, the Oculus just doesn't really kind of ring true for me. Now let's go into our last weapon here to talk about that I think has had a huge improvement. And it is the Stalker Bolt Rifle. It jumped up in its performance. For me personally, I always thought the Stalker Bolt Rifle was like a fun weapon, but it didn't really feel like a true contender for any class that could use it, which is tactical and sniper. If I'm sniper, I'm going to use last fusel because last fusel is just so destructive and I get a perk that goes along with it, right? The last fusel can refuel its ammo. With tactical, I mean, I have the, the bolt rifle with um, grenade launcher. It's hard to not want to use that. Or I have a melta or I have a plasma gun. I have a lot of different things. The stalker bolt rifle shut me right the hell up. It is now amazing. And I guess too, it was always really good and I just didn't really give it the proper chance it needed. And we got it to Relic Tier in the stream. And when we got it to Relic Tier, it is foreshotting things that are Space Marines. That's awesome. If I shoot a Chaos Space Marine, I am in all shots in the head, I am going to be able to kill it. If it's got an Auspex on it, it's going to fall even faster. It, of course, has the issue of ammunition. That's going to be a problem with it. 
and my sniper is also not max level, so I can't take advantage of as much ammunition stuff as I would have liked to. Um, but being able to play with this weapon and have it perform so well and carry me, what you're watching is lethal footage, by the way, carry me through a lethal is, is a pretty marked improvement on the performance of the weapon. And I think it only got like a 12 and a half or a 15% uh, bonus to its damage. That's not a huge number, but it feels like a massive amount because the damage per shot of this weapon has always been massive. If you remember our video where we tested the actual individual weapons uh, value or uh, damage values of these weapons with a, I think it was Mastercraft, what it was eight power level um, uh, stalker bolt rifle, we were doing 40 some damage. So 15% of that is six more points of damage, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, we've seen how much the bolt rifle does in damage uh, in that video as well. It does 11 or 14, depending on if it's a uh, three or a, or a 10 power level. So you can see that one point of damage can actually add up very quickly because then it gets cascading modifiers from all of your weapon perks and what have you. Headshot bonuses, because there's lots of headshot perks on uh, the stalker bolt rifle. So you can really have a lot of really good fun, especially if you jump into camouflage using a sniper with a stalker bolt rifle. I think the stalker bolt rifle now, it doesn't realistically rival the Laz Fusil because the Laz Fusil can just knock things into an immediate execute and you can really kind of, you can get a real good cheesy thing going with the camouflage cloak, cloak the Laz Fusil and your perk setup to constantly be swapping in and out of camouflage to dump aggro and go through a whole entire mission alone. So the last few still, still exists in a really strong tier because of that. If there were more class perks or more perks for the stalker bolt rifle for oops for sniper, it would feel way stronger. But if you play with it on attack and you drop an auspex on something, good luck to any zone throw that wants to stay alive. It is just going to pop things left and right, especially if you have the tax ability to insta kill um, extremists or um, Majoris every what 180 seconds, whatever the cooldown is. So, it is absolutely lethal. It is super strong. It is way stronger than it was before and really only way stronger by a bullet. Someone was telling me in stream that, yeah, prior to this, it would headshot in five shots. Now it does four. That's a pretty, I know that's just one single shot, but that's a marked improvement because we're talking about 12 shots in chamber. Uh, not in chamber, that doesn't mean, in, in the mag. <laughs> 12 shots in one chamber, <laughs> that's fucked up. Uh, 12 shots in the mag for what whatever weapon I had or whatever variant I had. So that's a huge amount of, um, I think actually, no, I'm looking at it now, 16, 16, sorry, 16 uh, shots in the magazine. That's a huge ammo conservation, right? If you're thinking about 16 shots, if I'm able to kill a Majoris in five shots, well, that's only three Majoruses per mag. Well, if it's one reduction, I can now kill four Majoris per mag, assuming I get all headshots, blah, blah, blah. But you can tell that just that single bullet is that further increase on the amount of things that you can kill on average with the Stalker Bolt Rifle. It's definitely the biggest win in the entire category of this from what I've tested so far. And at that, it brings our video here to a close. So unfortunately, we don't have any information for the auto bolt gun because I have zero experience on the gun in this build. I have zero experience on the Bolt Sniper Rifle, so I can't give you that juxtaposition between a 4.0 and a 4.1 patch. I mean, I saw that information happening, and I, there was no way I was going to be able to level that thing from zero to, to relic in, in one night, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. But if you have information on the auto bolt gun, from what I understand, it is significantly better. I mean, 20% is a huge buff to it. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how the, the Bolt Sniper Rifle is performing. Is it now a true contender in the repertoire of the, the sniper? Are you as a sniper really jammed up in trying to decide which of the weapons that you have on offer to use? I didn't test the bolt carbine either. Um, and I, of course, I didn't test the Oculus bolt carbine. So if you have any of that information, go ahead and let it be known in the comment section below. Relay that information out to give people a sense for what weapons have truly had a huge jump up since the 4.1 patch. I think the 4.1 patch is amazing. I would love to hear how your guys' experience of the patch has been as well. I haven't had enough time in it. We only did a four-hour stream. We still need to put more time in lethal to really get a sense for it. But I was able to do lethal with characters below level 25 today, which I was not able to do prior to that. So love to get some feedback on how you guys think the patch uh, 4.1 is going. 
um, outside of lethal because I have not touched any other difficulty other than lethal. Oh, that's not true. I played a ruthless game or two, but still. Want to know how it's feeling insubstantial, average, and minimal for you bros if it's gotten better, if it's still wonkopotamus or whatever it is. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Have a good one and take care.